On today's show, it's all about hydro jetting in Houston. Richard Saad, another week, another discussion, and another discussion, that's right. So what is hydro jetting? Well, for, Why do you need it? Yeah. Why would you want it? Right. And what benefit do I get from getting that service done? Those are the questions today. Right, John? Absolutely it is. Um, I think first... I need answers. <laughs> I think first, let's tell our audience... Um, what the difference between the hydro jetting is and what a drain cable or a snake drain or a drain snake, what are the differences? Because both of them do similar jobs, right? That's right. Okay. Absolutely. So you first So you, your drain cable. Right. Exactly what you said, right? That's a cable. Goes on a machine. It's got high torque. So you're running a cable through your drain, and there's different heads that we can put onto that cable that can perform different tasks. But the one that most people use is it's called a root cutter. And it's kind of like a U shape like this. And it goes around the pipe and it grabs anything in that pipe and wraps it up or cuts it right. to where you can then pull it back out of that pipe. Right, or free it up to flow. Or free it up so it can flow through. So why would you want to use a drain cable? Well. It's great for stoppages. Absolutely. You don't know what's stopping the pipe up, That's right. right? That's right. But it's not a cleaning tool. It's an unstopping tool. Yeah. You see where we're going, folks. Yeah, I mean, so you got to kind of do, you know, use your imagination a little bit, but the cable on those things are three-quarter inch cable, and you're putting it down a four-inch clean out. The cutter's only three-inch, right? Yeah, so you can't. You well, you can buy them up to six. Okay, well, I'm talking about that. We're right. going to put down the four inch pipe. Yeah, we don't, yeah. right? Because it, so it moves around in that pipe, and it doesn't necessarily get all of it. So it'll hit a chunk, miss a chunk, and it'll kind of piece its way through that pipe. Now it does, like you said, does a great job on stopping it. Oh, sorry, I got hung up there. It'll do a great job on stopping it and moving stuff down. Mm -hmm. But what you just said was key. We're looking for something that's going to clean that line. And the hydro jet absolutely does that. It's the, the thing that um, will take our pipe to as near new condition as possible, right? A cable, a, a drain snake just won't do that. It won't do that. It'll chew through those stoppages and get it down the way. But these hydro jets will take that pipe to as near new condition as that pipe is possible to get. In. That's right. right. Where would you really need that, though, John, right? Do we need it on our four-inch lines? Do we need it on our three? Do we need it on our two-inch lines? It's most commonly used, right, in the kitchen area. Yeah, It's absolutely. the most common. That, that's a big one. Um, believe it or not, area drains, it's a big one. Um, and we'll explain why that is. The kitchen drain is because of... What's Coagulation uh, of grease. So people tend to put a lot so. of stuff down their kitchen drain that probably doesn't go down there, but it's okay. You know, they, they think once it exits out of the sink, it's gone forever, and you never have to worry about it. Uh, a lot of grease, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that sticks together, and it starts coagulating. Is it, did I say that right? That's the first time right. I ever said it on air. Coagulating onto the walls of the pipe. And it starts, you know, bearing down and, and reducing that pipe and creates some flow restriction uh, to get that stuff out. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say a little bit more in depth on that. Good. How does it get into your pipe, right? So here's what you should do, you guys. Always scrape your plate into a trash can, period. That's the safest thing that you can ever do. Yeah. Try to put the least amount of down that kitchen sink. Well, you know what people are going to say? Well, I have a garbage disposal. What's that for? 
I understand you have a garbage disposal. I have one too, do you? I have one. And I put very little down that garbage disposal. Right. I scrape everything. Okay, so a garbage disposal you should use just to rinse. Right. Get everything off of that plate, goes down to the garbage disposal, and then you send it, and then it sends it through the piping structure. Right. The big thing is, after you scrape a plate, you wash a plate, there is always residual on a plate, whether you yeah. can see it or not. Yeah. That grease will go down, and it will only go so far, and then it will get stuck in the pipe. That's right. It is not going all the way out to the city sewer supply yeah. most of the time. Most of the time, it's sticking in your piping structure. Yeah. So what that hydro jet will do, it, it's just like a high pressure spray. It's a pressure like, washer. Think of it like that, yeah. pressure washer. That's inside, a good For the inside term. of your pipe. Yeah, for the inside of your pipe. You know, if you ever hired a company to come out and power wash your concrete driveway, your sidewalk, or your house, same process with the pipe. We've got highly sophisticated heads right. that pull and clean and wash that pipe. All different directions. And when it comes out of there, it looks brand new, you guys. Yeah. It is awesome. So when should you do that in the kitchen sink line? Let's say that. Should we do it every 10 years, every five? What would you tell the people? So what I would recommend, and, and this is coming from a guy, I use my garbage disposal a bunch. I'm the bad guy. Shame on you. He's the good guy, I'm the bad guy. I throw everything down there, I do. Um, if my drain line backs up at all, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the hydro jet, right? And and all that's gonna do is prolong the next time that I have to do it because I know that I'm gonna have to do it at some point in time. Because you um, keep putting stuff. <laughs> if you're if you're if you're calling in for service and you're a typical person or it's a house that you haven't lived in since it was built, I would suggest getting the hydro jet 100% of the time. That way that you know that pipe's gonna be taken near new condition. Um, the, the cost difference isn't extremely, you know, you know, on end of spectrums. So it's pretty, you know, it's relative, right? So I, I would absolutely 100% of the time on a kitchen line do the hydro jet. So here's what I would tell people. One step further. So when do you need it, right? Okay. Well, if you're, if you're a guy like me that doesn't put anything down there, I scrape everything, just a little bit of residual every five to 10 years. Yeah. I'd say, do a hydro jet, get that pipe looking brand new. Yeah. But if you're John, shoving the turkey, the chicken, everything else down there. Spaghetti, potato I would dough. probably do it about every couple of years. Yeah, or if you have an immediate problem. That's right. Yeah. Now, commercially, it's a different story. Yeah. If, if you've got a commercial restaurant, you are gonna be doing hydro jetting a lot more. Well, yeah. So we're gonna show you guys some pictures of how that pipe looks and the inside of a pipe uh, when it is full of grease. Yeah. And it is nasty, nasty. And it will pull all the grease out of that pipe. So if you've got a commercial business, you probably need to do hydro jetting about every six months. Why do you think that is? I got, oh, I got all, the grease, all the grease goes down their line. Yeah. Then it goes to the grease trap. You think, you think some of it's, you know, I always, always, I don't know why I always think this, but like they have employees there, right? It's not their building, it's not their. Correct. Yeah, so there's a little bit more um, mishandling, I guess I would say. Well, they typically yeah. don't care what they yeah. put down the sink. Yeah. You know, in, in their defense, they do scrape a lot in trash cans. Yeah, oh yeah. They really do. I've waited tables, I, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. you did wait oh, tables. Yeah, so, so they do scrape a lot in the trash cans, mm -hmm. but I think it's the high volume that gets them. Yeah, it's all the time. It's all the all time. The time. Yeah. And I also think it depends on, let's take food and what produces the most grease. Yeah. Mexican sure. food. Yeah, yeah. Barbecue. Yeah. Those two type of restaurants are extremely hard on our plumbing systems. Mm -hmm. Now let's take Greek food or Italian food I mean, you're eating salads and such. I mean, it's not taking havoc on the pipe like you said. Maybe. Mexican food. You said Mexican food's hard on your plumbing system. I was like, oh yeah, sometimes it is. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you're right. Those lighter, those lighter fares aren't as tough, right? On the plumbing yeah, system. That's right. right. Yeah. They're not producing as much grease as barbecue and, and Mexican food. Yeah. Chinese food's pretty bad too. Oh, Chinese food. Let's throw that in the group yeah. of heavy. Yeah. Grease. So you guys, if if you're watching the show. I would highly recommend getting your lines 
um, hydro jetted right. probably every six months. And that's going to keep a plumbing company from coming out there under emergency. Yeah, absolutely. You know, unless something changes with your business and you start cooking other things or throwing more things down there. Yeah. But it's really going to keep us away. And whether you realize it or not, if you get a stoppage, the health department walks in there, you're instantly shut down. What is the cost factor of that? Hydro jetting is going to be much cheaper to do routine routine maintenance. Oh, versus downtime? Absolutely. Versus, than versus downtime. And they always happen at the worst times. Absolutely. It's not, it's not going to happen, you know, even at your home, right? It never happens when you're it happens home over alone. Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. It happens when you have family over, someone flew in for out of town or something. That's Christmas. How, that's how it always happens. That's right. And so what I would do, and even as a homeowner, I, I would do routine maintenance. It's very yeah. important. I think very little homeowners, from a plumbing standpoint, do maintenance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Maintenance your water heater. You should maintenance and, and do hydro jetting um, on the same frequency. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah. You maintenance your AC system. I mean, these things need maintenance. Well, yeah, it's your investment, right? I mean, That's you right. Need, you need to take care of it. That's right. You change the oil in your car, right? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, hey, real quick, but before we get out of here, I want to talk about the area drains real quick because that's another thing where, the, where our hydro jet really comes in the help because a lot of times those catch basins, right, they have ways to filter out, but a lot of times there's some debris that gets down in there. Lots. You know, especially dirt, sand, leaves, mm -hmm. and that stuff will definitely stick to that pipe and not be taken to where it needs to be. So if you ever have a yard drain or an area drain that's not working properly and, it need, and you're thinking it needs to be cleaned out, Absolutely go with the hydro jet because you need to pull all of that debris out in, in the cable. The drain snake is not going to do that for you. I don't care what anybody tells you. It'll, it'll create flow if you have a stoppage and they're absolutely backing up. But if their drain is slow and stuff, a lot of times you got build up on the bottom. Absolutely ask for the uh, hydro jet to pull it out. That's right. And that applies residentially and commercially. Yeah, absolutely. We've got different hydro jet machines that we, ha that we own. So we can go from the smallest piping to the largest pipe yeah. to get these things done. So we've got three different jet machines, you guys. And they all do something a little bit different, and they're for different applications. That's right. But we can handle all of your jetting needs from the small piping to the large piping. You remember my saying? What? The cable is able, but the jetter is better. I like that. Absolutely. It is. So if you need help around this, thinking that you want it, if you want to discuss it further, call us. We'll give you the information that you need to make a good decision for you. Yep. So thank you guys. Thank you all so much.